Hello, welcome to another bulk product edit tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going over editing list type product meta fields, used on our homepage or on the sidebar. Let's get started. Before we can edit the meta field, we need to create a meta field first. Let's go to settings, and we'll go to meta fields, products, add definition. This will create a new meta field. Let's name this meta field color. As you can see, we have a namespace and key. The namespace here is custom, and the key is color. For the content type, let's select color, and this time we will select a list of values. This will tell Shopify that this is a list meta field. Hit save, and now we can go back to our app. Now let's create the task. I'm gonna edit the clothing collection, preview the products. As you can see, we have three products here. Next, let's choose add a meta field. This will add a meta field to our product, but if the namespace, key, and value type match, it will edit the product instead. So if you remember, the namespace was custom, and the key was color. The value type, scroll all the way down, we have a list, a list of colors. And now we can add values to it. Say the first value is red, we can add another value. So the next value is blue. Add another value, next value could be green. Note that for colors, a hex code is accepted values. Start the bulk edit, and we'll wait for the task to finish. Now that the task is finished, let's check the details. As you can see, the meta field was added to add the three colors to our products. You can also check the meta field values in one of two ways. The first is on our app. Let's go back to the clothing collection, click preview, and here we can type in the meta field that we want to check. So as you remember, our meta field is custom, dot color. Click preview again. And as you can see, the three colors show up with a type list of colors. The second way is through your Shopify admin. Let's select a product. When you scroll all the way down, you can see a list of meta fields. As you can see, our color meta field has the three colors. Please note the meta fields will only show up here if you have defined them like we did at the beginning of this video. Next, Let's see how to add additional values to an already existing list type meta field. We'll go back to product meta fields, back to the clothing collection, and if we check custom.color, you will see that we have three colors. Now, let's see what happens when we want to add a fourth color. Scroll down, I'll select add value to an existing list type product meta field. So you remember, the namespace is custom, the key is color, the type is a list of colors, and let's see, the value, we can add yellow. We'll add it to the end of the list. Start the bulk edit, and we'll wait for the task to finish. Now that the task is finished, let's check the details. As you can see, we went from having three colors to now having four colors. You can verify this by checking on our app. Go back to the clothing collection, let's check custom.color. As you can see, all three products now have four colors. We can also check on the Shopify admin. So if we go back to the hat product, check the color here, we can see that all four colors have been added. That's all for today, and I hope to see you with the next tutorial. 